Bridge 421, man, make sure y'all get that everywhere. I feel like that is like my my greatest body of work. It's 21 songs. I did a song for every year I've been living, Rich 421, and I just, I feel like I finally told my story. I feel like if you ever, I got six mixtapes, but if you go to Rich 421, you'll really know who I am. You can listen to that mixtape, and then you, it make, I feel like it'll make a motherfucker choose to go back and look at my old song, because you want to, because like I give you my story, but it's just not every day. I leave you wanting more on Rich 421, because I feel like, I really should have been signed by now because I didn't talk to so many labels and not, not even just, I don't even feel like I just should be signed. I feel like I should just be bigger than what I am on a bigger platform. So I feel like that's my first album. If that would have been an album if I was signed right now, they'd be like, that's, well, you got to put an album out right now. That was it. So I feel like that's like my greatest body of work. So there's nowhere to go but up. And it gave me a little time. So I put so many songs so I can just focus on putting visuals out to those and visuals out to the music that might just now be new to a fan. So, but it, it's old to me, but new to a fan, so I'm putting out visuals to all my songs. And I get to push my game. Hoof on USA, the label. Shout out my big brother, G Money, the running. CJ Casino, Bugatti Casino. We really doing our thing. So, we're, hey, expect big things from a Hoof on part two on the way. Yeah, go get that, HMGJ. What do you think is stopping you from being bigger than where you are at this point, making that type of statement? What do you think has. Location. I feel like just, if I'm not just saying that just because the location I make, you know, it still take hard work because I done been so big, but just coming from Fort Worth, Texas, or just Texas, period, we not like New York, Atlanta, LA to where it's a big artist out there that can just come and say, I'm going to grab you, I can just put you on my Instagram, post you a few times, now you're going to be the biggest artist out. Like Gotti, he can just grab a black youngster, a money bag, yo, or whoever, and just blow him up. Gucci Mane and being in Atlanta can do that. Future can grab 21 Savage and put him on a brick, a bigger, uh, a bigger, uh, bigger scene, just period, a bigger platform. platform. So where, like in Texas, you really don't have that. You got greats like from Houston and stuff like that, but you don't got nobody that can just, I can just grab, they can just grab me and say, here, here's this the nigga, he gonna be the best ever type shit. You don't got that right now. Lil Wayne can say, can, can give you a Drake. Jay-Z can give you a J. Cole. We don't have nothing like from, from Texas to just do that to where. I saw there was a point though where Duro was hanging out with you and working alongside you. Yeah, Duro, my partner, he, 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 he big coming from Dallas, but he just don't, I'm not saying he just can't do it, but he just, the platform I'm looking for is, I'm looking for to be like, to where you can be like a Drake or 21, 21 Savages, he get he auto independent and he everywhere having hundred million views on videos and stuff like that. That's unheard of coming from like a Texas artist. So I'm just saying, just our platform, the road he big, but he can't just put me on a national platform to where I can just take off tomorrow. As for artists in Atlanta, they have artists like that, and they tend to work together in other cities. Do you think it's I mean, obviously, if people hear your music or see your music videos and stuff like that, there is it too violent? Is the gangster persona that's... I don't, I don't feel like it's just... As for that, that's an image to where... That's an image being portrayed by then every rapper in the mm. game to where I don't feel like my image has nothing to do with it. I feel like if a label feel like I'm a liability, it might just be from the shit they go on in the streets that just spills over into like the music and entertainment business. But I'm an entertainer to where anything I do in the streets, it shouldn't affect my business because it doesn't affect my business. But in a label's eyes, it does. Nobody, a label doesn't want to get behind nobody they feel like might be a liability because a label is into to make money. A label signs you to because they feel like you can make them money. Not because they like you or any of that shit, because they can, you feel like they can, I'm gonna put some money in you and you're gonna make me profit. So, so I feel like other than that, just, man, I had to calm down. I just had to grow up a little bit more. I was young, 19, when I really started rapping. I'm British for 21 now, so I feel like they always wanted to get in touch with me. They just felt like maybe I had to do a little bit more growing up. Reason why I ask that is because I've heard other artists talk about it, you know, when there's, a lot of guns in music videos and that violent persona that stops some people from getting booked at clubs or performances. And nah, it has actually got me like just because people don't want you to be scared of. They want they like I said, they don't want you to lose money. 
violence and stuff like that brings it makes you lose money. But as for just like in my videos or just what I rap about, I don't feel like that just because shit, I, that's just the main topic that everybody rap about anyway. To where I don't feel like they'll single you out just for what I'm rapping about. Just because I might actually live what I rap about. Maybe that'll be, maybe that, I think that would be more reason than just actually my topic of conversation. Maybe it's actually, they might feel like I'm actually doing what I'm saying. Mm. Or maybe it's a song. Maybe you need a, a bigger quote unquote hit record. Hmm. You can never do go wrong with that. His songs get checks. So shit, you never know.